this end user introduction to Composite C1. In this video introduction, we'll be looking at how the end user works with Composite C1 and how it makes uh, the work with the website more easy and more efficient. Composite C1 consists of a one layer user interface, which means we will be working in only the layer you see in front of you here. We are working with no pop up windows, which makes it easy and efficient to work with the system. To our left, we have our content tree. And uh, by clicking here, you get all the pages on our website and all the uh, sub uh, pages down below as well. And as you can see, our menus in the system are context sensitive, which means you only get the options that are relevant for where you are in the system at any given time. In this demonstration, I am logged on as an end user editor, which means I have uh, limited access to the system. I only have access to the content area and our media area down below. Again, this to ensure that the user gets a comfortable working environment and does not get presented with any options that he does not need. We will now add a page by pressing Add Page. This opens up our workflow. In this case, we'll add a page and call it our new page. Uh, below, we can make a short abstract. We here we can choose our template. We have five different templates to choose between. Uh, in this case, I will choose our normal template and press the Finish button. This opens up our working area to the right with uh, three sub tabs. Uh, in this case, we have our general settings. We have our publication settings, which of course uh, enables us to make a publish and unpublish date of the page. And in the bottom, we have our friendly URL, which uh, makes uh, for our offline material and for better search engine uh, ranking. Our second tab is our content area. Uh, this is the area where we work with uh, our content on the website. You have all the uh, usual options of working with uh, tables, inserting images and videos, or inserting text directly from Word. To our right, we have our content area. In this case, we're working with one content area. It's uh, possible to work with multiple content areas as well in the different templates. Here I can choose again, I can choose between the five templates as uh, when we added our page. I'll now stick to just our normal template that we chose when we added our page. I'll add some text to our editor and simply format it with a heading as so. And now I press my preview tab and I get a preview of our, my page. Uh, as you can see, this is how our page will look on our live website. I simply press the uh, save button and our page is now ready for publication and as you can see in our page tree to the left the page that we've uh, just added has a red marking which means it is not yet published on our live website so I simply mark the page press the uh, publish button and if we just go to our live site as so and just refresh you can see our new page is now on our live site and ready to be seen by the public. If we go back to our administration module, I'm now uh, working with one page. It's possible for me to, uh, to work with several pages at once. I simply press Edit Page and it opens up in another tab. And again, if I take our service page here again, press Edit Page, I can work in multiple uh, pages at once, copy paste um, the content between them if, uh, if I like to do this, uh, which makes it very, again, easy and efficient to work uh, with the system. Composite C1 comes with uh, multilingual control uh, down in the corner to our right. We can, you can now see I'm working on our English website. If I press, I can choose to go to our Danish website as well. Simply press the Danish, press OK. This will lead me directly to our Danish website. And I open our content tree to the left again. And as you can see, I'm now on my Danish website. And these pages marked by a globe means that these are the pages from our English website. And I can press the uh, new page at the bottom that we just made on our English website and simply press translate page. And this page is now a part of my Danish website, which means I can now work with the content uh, on a Danish website and uh, simply as before, mark it and press the publish button. And we are now uh, have the page both on our English and on our Danish website.